Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome back to Boundless. Welcome back. Yes, it is I, a, your favorite nighttime DJ, Pixelated Twix, and I am back here in Boundless. And yes, you guys, it has been a couple of months since I've uh, recorded a video or you heard my voice, and I want to say uh, that I am so sorry for that. Um, the reason being is that I've had um, some things going on in my life, and I really haven't had a lot of time to record, and then just um, interruptions with um like home life nothing bad or anything like that i just had some uh family here and it was a little hard to like get into uh recording and um trying to record around interrupting background noise and things like that so i decided to take a break and you know what to be honest it was a much needed break um but we're back and so hopefully we can get back into the swing of things um so let's 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 just get started without further ado i do want to go over a couple things that have been added to the game for one thing happy birthday boundless boundless is two years old guys um so happy birthday to them um you will see some mobs in the game that occasionally will have uh birthday hats on and basically what um what that means is they're dropping these things here these little birthday gifts and they're used to um craft things like this party cake ordy and this party candle and of course you can get these in the many colors that gleam comes in i think gleam and foliage um so i'm sorry guys i'm trying to restock uh trying to keep up with restocking um let me tell you when i came back to the game after taking a hiatus i had to restock basically this entire store um and it was a pain in the butt let me tell you all right so another thing that was added to the game you know, were seven worlds um and basically what sovereign worlds are and you can see i think you can see one right here actually oh i'm a little let me turn my flashlight out okay because i don't know where the floor ends okay so i think there's one here yeah deep azure gleam okay so there's deep azure gleam on this um this planet but basically these planets are owned by individual players uh so here it'll say sovereign too it's like there's tears where i get less sovereign world um there's Cor Coruscant, that's another sovereign world. Um, so anyway, uh, these are rented out by players, for players, for us, by us. <laughs> so um, basically what you can do is decide on the tier of the planet and what the planet's going to look like um, for a small fee. And that's gonna depend on well, it goes from a small feed to a large feed, depending on how big your planet is. So I have two planets, so I'm just gonna show you one, and then I'm gonna show you, do like a quick tutorial to show you how to set up a planet. Because, um, well, some people may not know. Let me get this off my, I really need to turn those off. All right, so we're gonna go with my tier three planet, just because I don't have to fear for my life on my tier three planet. I do have a tier six planet that I'm quite afraid of. <laughs> Um, pretty much what I do is, oh, you guys, there's only two days left in this portal. Um, so here's my, my tier three, tier six planet is from Shedda tier, but my tier three planet, I got distracted, is from Betula. So, um, I will show you what it is. All right. Where is Betula? Betula, Betula, Betula. Uh, 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 uh. All right, here it is. Here is Batula. Um, oh yeah, so yeah. Um, let me show you these, this right quick. So if you're not familiar with the TNT um, Mega Hub, they have hubs to every single um, permanent planet. So they go from tier one all the way to tier six. So by the tier ones, they have um, the public lean farm hub. This is the farm hub for Gleam that is from the Sovereign Worlds. So if you're interested in some new colors, y'all, come check it out. That's if you're playing the game, because if you're not playing the game, I mean, there's no reason why you need to come check it out, right? 
I mean, you should check out the game now. I'm just saying, you really should. Just give it a chance. Okay, so this is how you get to my world. Um, I don't have it open for public access. I'm trying to decide still if I want to do that or not. But anyways, it's from Batula, so we're gonna walk through here. All right, so mine is kind of hidden in the corner here, right here. Um, it doesn't have a label. Wait, this isn't me. Is this me? This isn't me. It is me. Oh my gosh, I don't even know my own world. This is my planet Atreyu. 20 bucks if you guys know where that's from. And no, it's not the band. Okay, okay. All right, so this one is Shadow Red, I think. Is it Shadow Red? Dark Red. Okay, Dark Red. And um, Dark Red Sand. This is, uh, y'all don't know my own colors. Luminous Chope. Um, okay, so where's my where? Okay, so basically, when you buy your planet, when you set up your planet, or when you purchase your planet, you can choose all the biomes for that particular tier or what's available for that particular tier. Um, so you can customize your planet to your heart's desire. Now, these little things up here are green balls, they look a little distorted because they are far away, but. Um, I have light turquoise green balls. If you're interested in that, please let me know. Um, I may be nice and let people uh, build farms in here. I don't know yet. I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to decide because I do have um, one of the smallest planets and I just don't want people coming in here and building stuff up and then, you know. Anyway, so when you come in, when you set up your planet, once you're, you've created your biomes, you send them in and then um, you have to wait till your world is generated. Once your world is generated, when you log into the game and you're in the portal room or your little personal portal room, when you log into the game, you'll see it in the sky. Um, and then of course, depending on the tier, you have to find your planet, go to the closest um, planet in your tier range and you should be able to find it. Okay, of course you're gonna come over here bothering people while I'm trying to record. I don't need that kind of drama in my life. Thank you very much. What is with y'all? Okay, you two, you two, okay. Anyway, so once you get to your planet, of course you wanna bring two things, three things, okay? You wanna bring a beacon, and you want to bring this thing called a world control, and of course, some, uh, some fuel. All right, so the world control, you can actually craft. Um, let me show you here, world control. Okay, so you just need any stone and gleam, and you craft it and you set it down and so basically what this does it allows you to control your worlds of course um, and then you can choose like who you want to be able to have access to the world who you want to be able to build in the world or you know take blocks off the world not necessarily well yeah you can either choose to be able to build in the world or um, they can edit meaning they can take blocks off the world and or they can just visit it's up to you um so once you um once you've done that or you can do that or you can choose your block colors well not or you can choose your block colors and when you log into your world they're going it's going to be like a default color palette i think you can choose to use that one if you if you like it but most of us are tailoring the colors to our liking um, this one is like reds and like teals. Um, I love like blues and stuff like that. So both of my planets have shades of blue. This one goes is a little bit on the uh, red side with a little hints of blue. Um, so yes, you can choose all the colors from a palette. Um, and of course your tier will offer so many colors. So tier six obviously offers the most colors. This one, like I said, has teals and reds. Um, I've got black wood and okay, turquoise as well. Um, and then my gravel, I love my gravel luminous tote. But let me tell you guys, if white becomes available, I will be re-rolling. Um, but I did choose my favorite, one of my favorite like uh, gleam colors, which is like turquoise. And of course, you can choose the color for everything all the way down to the plants, um, all the exoticals. Okay. Um, so yeah. And then of course, like I said, you choose your biome. I'll show you what the gleam balls look like up close and personal. It's a little dark, of course. Um, so yeah, once you, you can run around uh, before you finalize your colors, you can run around your world to see if you like them. Um, I might change mine up because I really don't like 
how the the uh, this color here. Oh, see, there's one with that on. Oh, 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 see, listen. Okay, you can see these guys with hats on. You kill them and you get those gifts. Okay, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need you right now. Okay, so I'm thinking about changing the foliage color um, on these trees to teal um, or turquoise or teal. I don't know. I don't know. So I have Gleam set up in two different ways, appearing on my plane in two different ways. I have these little things that jut out and then I have, of course, the Gleam balls here that are in the sky. I'm not going to like get too close because I don't feel like swimming, but see that they appear up here. I mean, they're a little hard to get to. Some of them are pretty high, but you know, it is what it is. But anyways, like I said, you can run around your planet, check things out, see if it's, you know, to your liking, what have you, before you lock in your colors. Um, you can change it and the planet will um, change in real time. Um, and like I said, you can just kind of decide if these are uh, colors that you like um, before you lock them in. Now, from what I've been told, you can change the colors um, I guess for the first time, every, uh, I think you can change it after two weeks. And then after that, it's like every month or something like that. That's what I was told. I don't know. I haven't verified that. Probably should have before I um, sat here and lied to y'all. I don't know. But anyways, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to set up your Sovereign Planet. Also, if you don't want to do a Sovereign Planet, if you don't want to have to plot or farm uh, materials or anything like that and you just want to build and build freely they do have a creative planet that you can play on and you can have your friends play on or you can keep it to yourself just like um, your sovereign world um, and then there's no fuel that you have to buy every month because you rent these planets out um, I, well maybe you do maybe you do have you I'm sorry you do have to pay the fuel cost or the subscription fee basically to keep these planets fueled um, now this one is a three kilometer size uh planet i don't know no i don't know no i don't know no 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 what <laughs> what that translates in miles uh, but whatever so it's three kilometers basically um the size of a regular exon planet so yeah that's what this t3 planet looks like again if you want to go up higher tiers have more uh resources and for the algorithms i don't know whatever uh, but let me know if you like this video and if you want more tutorials in the future i i'm not the tutorial type person but i will definitely give it a try um also let me know what you'd like to see in boundless besides me running around getting in trouble if you'd like to see me do some builds i'm definitely going to give you guys an update on the settlement and what i'm doing uh, currently in the settlement how far i've gotten with my builds and what have you please don't don't please don't give me a meteor dropping down on me they have been ridiculous but so far the plan has been acting right today anyways guys i do hope you enjoyed this video again if you're not a subscriber please consider hitting that subscribe button and coming back to visit us again i would love to see your face and definitely um comment below if there is something that you would like to see in the game all right guys until next time i've been pixelated twix this is Luna Shale. 